everyone. I'm out here walking, but uh, I just uh, I just saw Tucker Carlson do an interview with Stephen Sund, Sund, the uh, former Capitol Police chief, during January 6, 2021. The interesting about the interesting thing about this is that he had done this interview already, but he didn't own the tape. Why? Because he was with Fox News, and he was fired shortly before Fox News was able to run that story, and they haven't ran it since. Interesting. So he doesn't own the tape, so he can't do it. So what did he do? Total boss move and had him on again on his own platform, which gets more viewers. That's awesome. Now, the thing that's crazy is a lot of people will say, well, didn't the Capitol Police chief um, disavow Tucker for releasing all that footage and saying that it was a danger to whatever, blah, blah, blah. First of all, it exonerated uh, that QAnon shaman, whatever. And <clears throat> that wasn't even the, that's the current Capitol Police chief. So see, they, they like to mention that. They like to say that and thinking that the actual one that was there was the one who was disavowing Tucker. But no, no, he had already retired in 2021. Stephen Sund, the one that actually was there, gave an interview to Tucker. Thomas Manger, the, the former one, is gone or is here. And Sund was there during January 6th. Anyway, Sund was talking about how he was in a bunch of intel briefings and he never heard any threat whatsoever. Um, the National Guard, the whole National Guard didn't get called and Nancy Pelosi seemed uninterested. It's strange, right? It almost sounds like it was a setup. Um, and why would they have to do this? Well, because they know that the left is the one that riots, but they needed a show of force by the, by the conservatives. Notice how this is the only thing that they're talking about because there is no other thing conservatives do. They were worried about their country, so they protested. But why did they physically go on the Capitol? First of all, they were escorted through the Capitol building. There was a reason why they didn't want that footage late because they wanted to make it seem like they, were, they came in. They forced their way in, but they didn't. And so it's interesting that they would do this and think about it. Think about this, you know, this whole Ray Epps thing. Why is it that the left wants everybody, every conservative who was there at January 6th to suffer, but him, he was the only one that was caught on tape physically saying, go and storm the Capitol. That's what he was saying. He was the only one who was saying that. So, that, that I saw, but even if there was dozens, why did he, not only did they say, don't look here, but they said, stop harassing him because it's ruining his reputation. How ridiculous is that? So all of a sudden they care about conservatives, right? Because he was wearing a, a make America great hat, make America great hat. He was there that day, supposedly you know, with all the, uh, the tyranny and the fascism, but yeah, go look at Tucker Carlson's interview with Stephen Sund, the actual Capitol police chief on January 6, 2021. There's a lot of things that will make you, uh, and read the comments too. It's on Twitter. It's, uh, it's on, on Tucker's channel, but if you haven't learned about it, you're probably going to, because this is going to probably ignite a large base of people saying, okay, something's going on because even the police chief was told it wasn't a big deal. That's, that seems like it was a false flag. Like they wanted something to happen. Anyways, love y'all. Have a good day.